Wow, it is hot out here. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, uh, I'm down at the beach house. It's actually a busy day today. Lawn maintenance and everything else. My grass guy that I have normally cut down here for me, um, I texted him and told him not to cut mine because I was going to cut it. So he is actually across the street cutting my neighbor's yard. Today I'm going to show you my COVID lawnmower and I'll show you just an update on the zoysia grass planting. I am soaking wet. My t-shirt is soaking wet. It is just humid. It's only in the 80s, but dude, it is humid. <laughs> oh my gosh. So here's something else that's cool. My neighbor across the street that way, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's honey from his hives. So uh, he has beehives. He actually has some free range chickens over there that lay eggs. <laughs> so uh, it's just a cool, this is just a cool area. There's really cool people just love this place. So let me show you, uh, let me show you my lawnmower and I'll just walk you around. I'm exhausted, hold on. Okay, so keep in mind that we brought in the three truckloads of this black soil, sandy soil and I just cut it and I would say I'm at about 50% zoysia and 50% weeds. That's not bad for a first time planting of zoysia. Not bad. So what I'm going to do is today um, I'm going to hit it again with a coat of PGF balance because it's low on phosphorus. I'll probably put down a little bit of PGF complete and I'm getting ready to do a secondary seeding. But oh, I am going to treat the weeds. Uh, and get the weed sign off before I do that seeding. So if you haven't seen the backyard before Obviously we installed the fence. We installed the gardens. I got to do a lot of weeding over here We installed all this gravel in here and then over here even though that looks nice Gosh, there's some kind of weed over there. I don't I don't understand uh, or I can't specifically identify it but uh, I'm gonna have to try, I'm gonna have to kill a lot of that off and do a reseed back here. Even though it looks great, it looks green, and looks good, but a lot of that's weed. Of course, we have these steps installed. Now these steps were not here. The house had no steps on the rear. So now we come down here. We're gonna have, uh, the pool pumps are gonna be enclosed. My fence guy's gonna build a little enclosure here. So I ordered these trees online. These are rows of Sharon's and they're supposed to be kind of red and they're actually doing well. But look at the wildflowers from seed. So these are all planted from seed. Aren't they cool? So they go all the way around. We installed a little stone. Um, I do have a drainage issue that I'm gonna have to work on. So behind this, my neighbor's, my neighbor's yard slopes this way and I'm getting a huge amount of wash out here. And if we ever have a tropical storm come through, the water comes in here and goes towards the pool. So I'm gonna have to install a French drain on the other side of that. So that's one of the things I'm doing. I gotta get on these gardens because they're kind of full of weeds. Let me show you my COVID lawnmower. Why do I call it my COVID lawnmower? I ordered a vinyl, picket vinyl fence for the front five months ago. <laughs> delay, delay, delay. Everything out there, golf cart. Can't get a golf cart. It got pushed back, we're trying to find a golf cart. It got pushed back a month, another month, another month. Finally, I think I have found a lithium battery golf cart that I'm gonna show you guys and review for you guys if I get it next week. We'll see. Uh, the other thing, let me show you the new, let me show you the new, um, tile so this bottom room uh it really has never flooded but you never know so and it had carpet i was like dude i'm getting rid of this carpet so last week my tile guy came and look at that now is that cool or what so now we've got a nice ceramic tile wood base Ooh, a bunch of product here doc i've got uh, barricade for the fall. I've got PGF complete. I've got dirt booster. I've got a bunch of different products, but this is kind of nice here. So what we had to do to meet code, let me show you what we had to do to meet code. This used to be a shower and we had to have that covered up. 
we had to get rid of the shower so we turned it into a closet and to keep the toilet I had to install a handicapped toilet that's 21 inches tall technically speaking my flood line is 9 inches so anything that is livable or open drain has to be 12 inches above that so that's a 21 inch tall handicapped toilet and yes that's a squatty potty <laughs> So, so the irrigation system's been installed. This lawnmower, the reason why I got this lawnmower, number one reason, it was in stock. Nothing was in stock. COVID. <laughs> so, and I wanted something that could cut one inch, true one inch, and was cheap. So this is the one I got. It was the cheapest one I could find at Home Depot or Lowe's. I forget which one. So this is it. This is my... This is my $200 Bowens. You can't even adjust the wheels. If you want to adjust the wheels, you got to unscrew the wheels and move them and re-bolt them. <laughs> so, I'm going to walk over and show you these hives because they're really cool. Okay, so actually, what you're seeing here is a battery from the 1800s. This is an old historical battery from the Civil War. But, look at this right here. I don't want to get too close. Isn't that cool? That is just the coolest thing right there. So let's talk about the lawn real quick. Like I said, 50-50. 50% zoysia, 50% weeds. So you can see like right here. I've actually got some decent zoysia coming up here. But, we got a lot of this going on here. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, come out. <laughs> Not horrible. Not horrible at all. So what I plan on doing is with you guys, I'll probably shoot it. Today, I'm going to put out some PGF Complete. I'm going to put out some PGF Balance. Uh, and then I'm going to spray it with a weed killer. And then I'm going to let it sit for a few days. Then I'll recut it. Then I'm going to come out here with my little Sun Joe Scarifier. I'll scarify this and then reseed it. Or reseed it and then scarify it. And do another planting of zoysia on top of this. That's where I am. I had to go in and change shirts, it was so wet. So let me explain what I put down today and what I'm treating. Um, I'm using, I brought the Lawn Star spreader down here. And you can see I've got PGF Complete down the bottom. I also put out a bag of PGF Balance because the soil that we brought in was very low on phosphorus. <laughs> Whereas the deeper soil was high on phosphorus. It also had a crazy pH of 4.9, so I had a, my guy that was helping me out down here, he's put out lime twice down here. This is the mower, my COVID mower, but again, 170 bucks. And I am using, to spray the weeds, this is my Field King Pro Max that I'm using the spray and what I'm mixing is I'm just using the Bio Advanced all-in-one lawn and weed lawn weed and crabgrass crabgrass killer it is safe on zoysia by the way now the temperature the limit, temperature limit is I think 85 degrees on it and I'm right at that 85 degrees but it's okay because like I said um, 
I'm going to be doing a secondary seating. Now, what's interesting is zoysia is very slow to germinate. It's probably one of the slowest grasses to germinate. It's like it can be 11 to 14 days for germination. So it's definitely, I've learned it's a grass. You don't rush, that's for sure. If you saw my battle with scarifiers, <laughs> This is my son, Joe, that I actually does a pretty good job. You can see how beat up this thing is. I have worked this thing to living death. I mean, I've just worked this thing to death out here. And it's held up fairly well. You can see it, all that black soil. It's a black, it's a black, almost sandy soil. It's weird that they brought in for but, me. Uh, I gotta say, I'm happy with this at least. This is looking really good. This is that stupid weed that's back here. Look at this. Look at how look how bad this is. Anyone know what that is? Can you identify that? I don't want to call it fire weed or carpet weed. But uh, I'll spray this and see if we can kill this off and then I'll do another seeding. Like I said, another seeding of zoysia because I do have half of this is decent zoysia. But this half, man, it just got hammered with this weed so anyways guys uh i'll give you some updates maybe i'm hoping to do uh, a review of that golf cart if it finally comes in uh maybe i'll show you installing some of the french drain work we're gonna do if my picket fence comes in i'll show you the picket fence and uh maybe i'll show you when i do the reseeding of the zoysia i'll show you the reseeding too talk to you later Dark.